Hey y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how we do our skull plates where we leave the hair, the hide on the plate. And all you need is some instant tan powder. I think it's called Instant Preserve. It's upside down, but can y'all see that? It's old, we've had this stuff forever. I can't tell you how long we've had it. So I ain't sure where you can get it. I'm sure you can order it. You can find out on the internet. Google knows everything. And some string, which I've got to find. Because we ain't done one of these yet this year. So let me find some string. Some nylon string. I'm sure y'all can tell, but my allergies are jacked up. I blame going from a bunch of different temperatures. We've been to Kansas. Back home to Alabama. And then to Mississippi in the same month. Went from 70 degree weather in Alabama to weather in the teens and snowing and freezing to death in Kansas. And then back to warmer weather in Alabama. So it's got my allergies pretty jacked up. See, I'll just hang with me. I'll probably end up sneezing a few times. So usually we use green nylon string trot line cord you know but for some reason right now all I can find the old white nylon string can't find nothing we got so much stuff in dad shop I even found a really old crushed roll of toilet paper but this is the only string I could find look at it Oh well, it'll be fine. And the reason it is that I'm not recording, actually cutting it off the head, you know, that's the first step to all of this, is because I killed this deer in Mississippi and with the new CWD, chronic waste disease going around in some states, they are being more strict on the regulations Feel sneeze coming. There it went. Whew. Told y'all my allergies are jacked up. Ooh. Anyways, with the CWD, chronic waste disease, in some states there's a lot of regulations on what you can bring across state lines. We were only one state over in Mississippi where I killed this buck. So we only had to worry about crossing one state line. We did our research and after we looked all this stuff up, we called the game warden in Mississippi and we called a game warden that's our friend here in Alabama and made sure that we were good to go. And you've got to make sure there's no brain or spinal matter, bone, the hair is fine, but we had to clean the brain out real good, had to clean the skull plate off and all before we brought it. So that's why I can't record that all for y'all. But, all you gotta do is take and cut around. About right here is the top of his eye. Cut around, cut to hide. And then, you gotta cut it where you'll have enough room to, yeah, I need an extra hand. Kinda sew it together in the back, but not all the way. And then take a sawzall and cut around like that. And he'll just cut. He'll make me hold the horns and dad will take the sawzall and cut right there. 
and then oh, rather right well the sides off and then you take and you skin all the hair off from the bone or all the hide so it goes all the way through so you can get that instant preserve all down in there and you take a knife and cut holes I should have recorded that but I didn't think about it and all these so you can run the string through it and tie it up in the back Let's prop this up against a drill here so y'all can watch it the instant preserve that we've had forever I think it's got borax in it but I'm not sure and with this stuff a little goes a long way but you want to make sure that you've got it on everything every piece of hide you want it covered and this stuff's lasted us a good while but all we've been tanning is about six of these a piece every year get it all Make sure you get it all down in between where the skull plate meets the hide where you got to cut out around it. And I'm going to make a mess with this stuff, but I'm in the shop, so it don't matter. right here make sure you get it down in that hole so every piece is covered And it'll kind of dry into it once it gets wet. Turn clear. See how I've got it all down in there? Make sure every bit of hide is covered. All that. You don't need that on the skull plate. The bone ain't gonna, ain't gonna rot, but you gotta worry about the skin. Keeps the hair from slipping. I didn't bring my knife out here with me, so getting the string through here is going to be fun. I'll use me a nail or a screw. I'm going to have to find a knife before this is over with, though, because I've got to cut the string. Feel another sneeze coming. 
I've sneezed more in the past two days than I ever have in my life, I think. <clears throat> And I just do like this to get it through the holes, to thread it, thread the needle. Already cut the holes, so. And then come over here to this side. And find the hole I cut. Just a word of advice, don't like me. Don't do like me and come out here without a knife because I'll probably end up having to cut more holes. And get another knife. Okay, so I can't find a knife, except for my one that's at home, and I'm too lazy to walk home, so I am rigging, <laughs> and I'm punching a hole with the nail. And what I'm doing is putting it up against the table, putting the nail to it, and pull. And boop, there's a hole. Waller it out enough. For the string to fit through and then take the string the hole I just made and weave it on through there improvise adapt overcome <laughs> This one. Got my dog sn <laughs> sniffing. I don't know if y'all can hear. What is it? What is that? Okay, see this? See how this side's still kind of pooched out a little bit? I can punch another hole right here and wrap it over, and then won't have to worry about it. And it doesn't have to be this tight. If you don't have this much hair, it's fine. All you're going to be looking at when you get done is that side. So, I'm gonna punch one more hole in it. Guys, it's thicker right here. I'm having trouble. Dad brought me his knife. It's a 
slightly easier with a knife than trying to do it like I was doing it. I got a little hole, but it wasn't big. You gotta be careful with these because they will close on your hand. So you kind of gotta hold them. My knife is actually in my hunting pant pocket because I still hadn't took it out. Just get all this good and tight. There ain't nothing fancy. There's no fancy tie to this or nothing. You just tie it up. Probably a better way to do it, but this is my way. If I can do it without scissors. Hey, yeah. <clears throat> And that's what you look at. Cut this extra off. Put one more. Nothing fancy. <sighs> and then, I got a bunch of these hung up in my house. And they're hung upside down. And people always ask me, why is it hung upside down? And that's just because that's the way it's easiest to hang them. You can always hang them up like this. But you need two pegs. This way, you can just hang it up off a nail. And you can tie your little knot. I'm going to leave some slack because I ain't figured out where to put it yet. Oh, I ain't feeling no sneeze. <clears throat> or how far I want to hang it. Because whatever else I get this year, if I get, the, eh, if I get more this year, hopefully I will hang them off the same rope. Cut it with plenty of slack. While the rest of the nylon back up. And that's what we got. Appreciate y'all. Also, y'all might want to let these sit somewhere that's not going to get messed up because sometimes it'll drain some nastiness out the back 
and y'all probably don't want that on certain stuff. See, I can leave it out here in our barn, our shop, and close the doors, and I ain't got to worry about a possum or something coming in to get it until it dries out. <laughs>